Union High School, Jason Cortland. From Jervis High School, Jamie Camp. And from LaSalle High School, Paul Radich. These three students will be representing their high schools as they compete for this great 35 millimeter camera and film and a chance at thousands of dollars in scholarship money from American Heritage. And now, the host of Channel 8's On The Spot High School Challenge, it's Larry Blackmar. Thank you, Michael Daly, and welcome everyone once again to the On The Spot High School Challenge. Tonight, we welcome players from Silverton, Jervis, and Lestalle, and all courtesy, of course, of American Heritage Association. We'll tell you more about them, and we'll meet our players a little later in the game, but right now, let's begin playing On The Spot. The way we do that is by revealing for the first time in the game, the category board. Six categories in the game, three questions in each category. And players, you'll want to study the category board because you'll only see it now and at two other times during the game. And you'll need to keep track of the number of questions used up in each category. Our categories tonight are books, cities, games, movies, presidents, and words. We start each player with 1,000 points. We give them 100 points for each correct answer. Subtract 100 points for an incorrect answer or if they call for a category that's been exhausted. Now, players, we turn the board away from you. A reminder, we use toss-up questions throughout the game, and, of course, toss-up questions do not come from the categories you've just seen. We start the game with a toss-up question. Let's get started. Who is the premier of Cuba? Is it Batista Paul? Fidel Castro. Fidel Castro is right. The first 100 points go to LaSalle High School. And, Paul, well done. You can pick a category for us. Presidents. Category is presidents. Who was both the 22nd and 24th president of the United States? Jason. Uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. No, for the other two players. Was it Grover Cleveland, Ulysses S. Grant, or Franklin Roosevelt? Paul. Grover Cleveland. Grover Cleveland, yes. Elected to two non-consecutive terms. And another 100 points go to you, Paul, and you're now on the spot. Presidents. What president signed the Civil Rights Act into law? Was it Paul? Johnson. Lyndon Johnson. Lyndon Johnson in 1964. Exactly right. And you're up to 1,300 points. Paul, category. Presidents, please. Who was the first incumbent president to appear on television? Yes, Jason. Nixon. No, for the other two players. Jamie. JFK. No, it was Franklin Roosevelt. Franklin Roosevelt, 1939 at the New York World's Fair. And players will go on to a toss-up question. Good tries. The Space Needle can be found in what city? Yes, it's Paul. Seattle. He's at Seattle, Washington, yeah. Built there, of course, for the 62 World's Fair. And Paul, up to 1,400. Books, please. Category is books. The question is, the Foundation Trilogy was written by what author? Was it Ray Bradbury, H.G. Wells, or Isaac Asimov? Isaac hey. Asimov? Yes, Isaac Asimov. Jamie, well done. One of science fiction's finest writers. And that brings you back up to 1,000. Jamie, your turn. Movies, please. Who played Han Solo in the Star Wars movies? It's Paul. You're Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford, yes. Mark Hamill played Luke. And, of course, Harrison Ford also played Indiana Jones, so famous to many moviegoers. Paul, go ahead. Cities, please. What twin or Minneapolis, well, that is, what twin of Minneapolis lies just across the Mississippi River? Paul. St. Paul. St. Paul, Minnesota. <laughs> exactly right. Called the Twin Cities, and you're up to 1,600, Paul, category. Cities, please. What gambling center is nicknamed the... Las Vegas. Jason, no, for the other two players. What gambling center is nicknamed the biggest little city in the world? Reno. Jamie, yes, it's Reno. <laughs> Located on the Truckee River in Nevada. Sometimes it helps to jump ahead, Jason, sometimes not. Jamie, category. Movies, please. Dan Aykroyd and Tom Hanks starred... Yes, Dragnet. it's Jason. Yes, known as Dragnet. 1987 police comedy. Absolutely right. And another 100-year score. Players, we're going to take a short break. We'll be back with more of the On the Spot High School Challenge and more of round one coming up right after this. And now, we return you to Channel 8's On The Spot High School Challenge with your host, Larry Blackmar. Thank you, Michael, and we are back. And during our break, our players had a chance to see the category board once again. And now we have a chance to talk with each one of them. And let's begin with Jason Cortland. 
He's a sophomore from Silverton High School, and I understand you hope to be a professional athlete someday, Jason? Uh, yes, I hope after college to go into world-class track as a long jumper. Well, that's terrific. Hard training, though, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but the payoffs can be great. Yeah, I hope to go to the Olympics someday. That's terrific. Well, Jason, we're glad to have you with us tonight. Thank you for being here. Our next player represents Jervis High School. She's a senior, Jamie Kemp. And I understand you're a writer as well. Yes, Larry, I'm a closet writer of sorts. I like to write on various subjects. Well, only in the closet temporarily, right? Someday maybe published? Maybe. Oh, that'd be great. Well, Jamie, we're glad you're here, too. You're up to 1,100 points doing well. Our leader tonight is Paul Radich. He's a senior from LaSalle High School, doing very well, Paul. And you belong to a school, your school's service club, right? Yes, we go out into the community and do service projects and try and help people out and meet new people. What kinds of things have you done? Well, like we go and work on um, soup lines or go to a convalescent center and sing songs with the elderly. That's Get terrific. Very fun. nice things that you're doing. Thanks. Paul, we appreciate that. You are in the lead, representing LaSalle with 1,600 points. Jamie has 1,100, and Jason from Silverton has 800. Jason, you have the last correct answer. Let's continue. Uh, games, please. Categories Games. What is the longest-running game show now on television? Is it... The Price is Jamie? Right? Yes, The Price is Right, hosted by Bob Barker. Well done, Jamie, and uh, that quickly, you're up to 1,200. Go ahead. Games, please. How many squares are on the checkerboard? Paul? 64. That's right. Eight on each side. Eight times eight. 64. And uh, you're up to 1,700, Paul. Cities, please. Category is cities. Alcatraz Island used to be a prison. Jason? In California? Or San Francisco, excuse me. I'm sorry. We've got to take your first answer, and uh, here's the options for the other players. Alcatraz Island used to be a prison near what major U.S. city? Paul. San Francisco. San Francisco is exactly right. <laughs> sorry, Jason. It was a good try. Had to accept the first thing you said, and it was, of course, the state. Paul, pick a category. Words, please. Two bits is the slang term for what coin? 25 It is cents. Jason. Yes, quarter. it's the quarter. <laughs> Absolutely right. Jason... Your turn to pick a category for us. Games, please. Which of the following game shows has a female host? Is it Jason? Uh, Wheel of Fortune. No, for the other two players, is it the all-new dating game? The sale of the, the century? The all-new dating game. Jamie, yes, it's the dating game. <laughs> Elaine Joyce is the host. I think you were thinking of Anna White, Jason. <laughs> uh, I'm not Ooh, sure she's maybe. the host. Maybe co-host of that show. <laughs> I saw a big smile on your face. Anyway, Jamie, go ahead. Pick a category. Words, please. <laughs> what Greek letter is the mathematical symbol for change? Paul. Delta. Delta. We draw it with a triangle. And uh, well done, Paul. You're up to 1,900 category. Cities, please. Oh, and that one's exhausted. Use that category up, and we subtract 100 points. Toss up, players. In which of the following would you find a universal joint? Would it be in the human body, a car, or a refrigerator? Jason. Car? It would be in a car, yeah. It's a coupling of two shafts so that one can change direction. And uh, Jason, go ahead, pick a category for us. Movies, please. Who directed the Vietnam War movie, Full Metal Jacket? Stanley Jason. Kubrick. Stanley Kubrick, absolutely right. Also directed and famous for 2001, A Space Odyssey. And Jason, go ahead. Words, please. On a boat, what is the most forward part of the hull? Jason. A bow. The bow is right, yes. Also sometimes called the prow. Jason, you're on a comeback here. Pick a category for uh, us. Words, please. Oh, we've used that one up. Category's exhausted, but we go on with a toss-up question, players. Solidarity is a trade union in what communist country, Paul? Poland. It's in Poland, yes. Lake Wałęsa was its most famous leader. And up to 1900, Paul, category. Books, please. Roots author Alex Haley was the ghostwriter for the autobiography of what black leader? Was it Paul? Malcolm X. Malcolm X, yes. <laughs> and that sound indicates the end of round one, and uh, we will be back with an exciting round two of the On the Spot High School Challenge coming up right after this. You've got a sore throat. Like it's on fire. And you want the pain to stop. The faster the better. Welcome back to the On the Spot High School Challenge. And before we get into round two, let's recap our player scores. Jason from Silverton has 900 points. Jamie from Jervis has uh, 1,300, I believe that is. And Paul from LaSalle is in the lead with 2,000 points. Now, Paul's in the lead right now, but you two, you got a chance here. 200 points for each correct answer in the second round, and you can make a big comeback without too much trouble. The one who's ahead at the end of this round will go on to the flash round, play for cash, and the runners-up are going to win some great prizes. Michael Bailey's got a list for us. Absolutely right, Larry. Tonight's runners-up will receive a gift certificate from Yes in Jansen Beach Center Mall for a great selection of portable stereos and waterproof cassette players and radios. It's Yes, your electronic store. 
And from TCBY Yogurt, they'll receive a gift certificate for yummy, low-fat frozen yogurt desserts. It's all pleasure and no guilt with the country's best yogurt, TCBY. And from Dia Knitting Company, tonight's contestants receive their very own on-the-spot high school challenge Letterman sweater, a tradition since 1921. Dia Knitting Company, the knitwear perfectionists. And once again, it's Larry Blackmar. Thank you, Michael. And we are ready to get into round two. And of course, the way we do that is by revealing for the last time in the game the category board. Same six categories we used in round one. We have replenished the number of questions, of course, and there are three in each category. And in round two, there is also a spotlight question on which one of you will be able to wager up to 500 points if you happen to pick that particular question. Now, the folks at home can see exactly where that's located on the board. You will know it just as soon as you pick it. And with that sound, players, we turn the board away from you. Now, a reminder, in round two, you have one opportunity to pass your turn. And keep that in mind. It may become very important toward the end of the game. We start round two with a toss-up question. Let's get started. Who was the Roman god of the sea? Paul? Poseidon. No, for the other two players. Was it Neptune, Pluto, Neptune. Jason? Neptune is right. Poseidon was the Greek god of the sea. And uh, Jason, up to 1,100. Go ahead. Movies, please. What recent movie takes its title from a Beatles hit? Was it Paul? Can't Buy Me Love. Can't Buy Me Love, another summer, summer comedy. <laughs> Can't Buy Me Love, and Paul, you're on the spot. Cities, please. Category of cities. What Italian city is built on 118 islands? Paul? Venice. Venice is right, yes. The Great Canals of Venice, and up to 2,200, Paul. Cities, please. What major cities in Tennessee and ancient Egypt? I'm sorry, I'll start that again, Paul. Memphis. You got it right, yes. That's kind of the hard way to do it, but you did it right. Let me read it again. What major cities in Tennessee and ancient Egypt share the same name? Memphis is absolutely right. Well done. All right, let's go on. Uh, you can pick a category for us, Paul. Cities, please. Category of cities. Of the 10 largest U.S. cities, three of them are in what state? Is it Jason? California. No, for the other two players, New Jane. York. No, it's Texas. Texas, Houston, Dallas, and San Antonio. All in Texas. All right, players, we'll go on to a toss-up question. Another name for an alto oboe is which of the following? Is it called a saxophone, a bassoon? Saxophone. No, for the other two players. Bassoon? Two. No, it's an English horn. An English horn. Good tries, players. Tough questions. We'll go on to a toss-up question. UNESCO and UNICEF are agencies of what international organization? Jason. Uh, too much time for the other two players. Is it the United Nations? the League of Nations, or the World Health Organization. Paul? United Nations. Yes, formed in 1945. All part of the United Nations. Well done. I think Jason knew it, had it on the tip of his tongue. Go ahead, Paul. Words, please. In which of the following would you find a pirouette? Would it be in a bullfight, a book, or a ballet? A Jason? ballet. A ballet, yes, in dance. <laughs> Spinning on the toes. And Jason, up to 700. Go ahead. Words, please. What is a person who is a pariah? Is it a genius, an outcast, or a holy man, Paul? An outcast. An outcast, yes. In fact, it comes from India, where the low caste there is called out, uh, pariah. Go ahead, Paul. Games, please. In Scrabble, what letter is worth five points? Is it K, B, or J? J? Jim? No. Challenge? Jason? B. No, it's K. Wouldn't you know it? It's a K. But it's the only one worth Ooh. five points, and players will go to a toss-up question. Who defeated Thomas Dewey for President of the United States? Jason. Truman. Harry Truman is right, yes. Although the newspaper, of course, reported that Dewey defeated Truman, Truman, of course, won. Jason, go ahead. Words, please. All right, Jason. Words is the category. The question is, a sesquicentennial celebrates what anniversary? Is it 50 years, Paul? 70. No, for the other two players. 50, 60. 60 years. No, it's 150. Sesquicentennial is 150 between a centennial and bicentennial. And players will go on to a toss-up question. Which of the following cars was not made by Ford? Studebaker, Model A, or an Edsel? Jason. Edsel. No. Challenge. Jamie. Studebaker. Studebaker. Separate company altogether. Edsel was made by Ford because it was named after his son. Jamie, pick a category for us. Presidents. What president won a Pulitzer Prize for his book, Profiles in Courage? Paul. John F. Kennedy. John F. Kennedy in 1957. Absolutely right. You're up to 2,800, Paul. Presidents, please. Who is President Reagan's Secretary of State? Paul. George Schultz. George Schultz, yes. 
And you're now at 3,000, Paul. Pick a category for us. Books, please. What was the title of Lee Iacocca's autobiography? Iacocca. That's it, simply Iacocca. <laughs> Made back 200 of those points, Jason. Pick a category. James, please. On what popular quiz show are the answers, questions... Paul? Jeopardy. And questions, answers, yes. Very popular show, and it's called Jeopardy. 3,200 points, Paul. Books, please. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Paul? A Tale of Two Cities. That was the novel, and that's what we're looking for. Novel by Charles Dickens. 3,400 points, Paul. Movies, please. That is the spotlight question tonight. All right, let me recap the scores for you. Paul Jason has 500 points. Jamie, 900. You have 3,400. You may wager up to 500 on this. 200. 200, all right. Categories, movies, and this is your question alone. In the movie The Breakfast Club, at what high school did The Breakfast Club meet? Was it called Springfield, Sherman, or Sandy Union? Springfield. No, I'm sorry. It was Sherman. It was Sherman. Clackamas High School, though, is going to receive $75 for sending that question in to us. We thank them. Less than a minute to play in this round. Players will go on to a toss-up question. What is the TV section of the TV of the Sun? Uh, we'll start that one again. Are you going to try again, Paul? Go ahead. TV click. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> what is the TV section of the Sunday Oregonian called? I can't say it, but you can answer it. Go ahead, Paul. Pick a category. Books, please. <laughs> What religious group is perhaps best known for placing Bibles in motel rooms? Paul? The Gideons. The Gideons. In fact, their organization formed just for that purpose. 3,600 points. Paul, you're on the spot. Movies, please. What is the top money-making film of all time? Jason. E.T. That's it. The Extraterrestrial. <laughs> and it is the end of round two. Jason has 700. Jamie, 900. Paul with 3,600 points. You are tonight's champion. <laughs> Well, and what a great representative of LaSalle High School. We've got a terrific prize for you. Michael, let's hear about it. All right, Paul, from the experts at Sandy's, you've just won this Kodak 35mm camera and a one-year supply of film and processing, and that's not all. You get a $50 gift certificate to transfer your favorite photographs, slides, or home movies to video at Sandy's Video Transfer Center. This great prize, courtesy of On The Spot and Sandy's, partners in photography since 1915. And right now, back to Larry Blackmar. And when we come back, Paul Radich of LaSalle will be playing the flash round for a lot of cash. Stay with us. Good job. Boy, you played well. This Christmas, everyone's shopping the Shutterbug, where you get the best service and lowest prices anywhere. Chance to win money for your high school's organization. Submit a spotlight question to High School Challenge. Spotlight question, Post Office Box 1061, Portland, Oregon, 97207. We're back with tonight's champion, Paul Radage from LaSalle High School. And, Paul, you've got a nice prize so far. You've earned the right also to play the flash round, and we'll do that in just a few moments. But a reminder, you scored very well tonight, and that could get you into the finals in our championship on the spot high school challenge. And that could mean up to $5,000 in scholarship money. And that, of course, comes from American Heritage Association, and we want to tell you a little more about that. Experience and learn the American Heritage Way. AHA continues a 30-year commitment to education and youth with opportunities to see the U.S. and the world. The American Heritage Association has organized a very effective way for students to travel. It's not only a great way to have fun, but to learn about traveling and about other parts of our nation and the world. Your AHA adventure will make a difference for the rest of your life. Sign up today to get ahead tomorrow. And we are back, and Paul, it's time now to play the flash round. What we're going to have you do is spin the inner wheel, and of course that'll tell us how much you get for each right answer in the flash round. Give the wheel a spin, and good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Nicely done, Paul. $100 for each correct answer, and uh, you'll have a chance at 10 of these questions. Now, you've got 60 seconds for 10 questions, and these are not multiple choice. You must give me an answer, but you can guess as many times you want, and you can pass. We'll come back around if there's time. Are you ready, Paul? Yes. All right. In what month does winter officially begin? December. Yes. What three colors are on the Union Jack? Red, white, and blue. Correct. The Pips are the backup group for what famous singer? Pass. Okay. What's the capital of Illinois? Chicago. No. Uh, Champagne. No. Springfield. Yes, that's it. What car company makes the Sable? Uh, Mercury. No. Lincoln. No. Chrysler. No. Ford. Ford is it. Who wrote David Copperfield? 
Charles Dickens. Yes. What are the offspring of geese called? Gooselets. No. Ganders. No. Geeslings. No. Pass. In what state would you find the Olympic Peninsula? Washington. Correct. In pocket billiards, what color is the one ball? Uh, green, no. blue, orange, yellow. Yellow is it. Who plays Dirty Harry in the movies? Uh, Clint Eastwood. Correct. Going back. The Pips are the backup group for what famous singer? Uh, Diana Ross. No. Gladys Knight. That's it. Gladys Knight. Going on. What are the offspring of geese called? Ganders. Gooselets. No. Geeselets. What are Goslings. The Goslings is it. You got them all, Paul. Well done. On the last couple of seconds, Goslings is correct. Congratulations. You did very well. Thanks a lot. One thing we should clear up, of course, is that the Ford uh, company makes the Sable. It is called the Mercury Sable, but the company that makes it is Ford. We've got some money for you. Let's add this up. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's one thousand dollars in cash, Paul. We add that to your other winnings. One thousand four hundred dollars in cash and prizes. You've done very well. How are you feeling? Good. Good. Well, you've done very well. Fourteen hundred dollars in cash. You're a great champion, and you did very well on Gosling's, one of the tougher questions we've asked. It was a great flash round. Paul, congratulations once again. Well played, and we may see you back for the championships. And we want to remind you on our next On the Spot High School Challenge, we will have uh, representatives from the Metropolitan Learning Center, Kelso High School, and John F. Kennedy High. Join us for the next On the Spot High School Challenge, and all week long for On the Spot. Until then, so long, everyone. Well, Go with American Heritage for adventure, excitement, and the experience of a lifetime. Sign up today to get ahead tomorrow. Call for more information.